with WOUB's Emily Votal, and I'm here on the scene at the 18th annual Mothman Festival here in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. There's all types of folks lined up to take their photo with the one and only Mothman of Point Pleasant, and we're here to talk to people and find out more about this beloved annual tradition. Here at the Mothman Festival, there are a lot of uh, arts and crafts of different types, all of them related usually to Mothman or paranormal style things, which, you know, makes them cool. Wow, these are trippy, look at this. Yahoo, Stone Man of West Virginia. Ooh, I like the Grafton Monster. They're like, anatomy, it's freaky, I like it. It's not all cheesy stuff. Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Greg Newkirk, and I'm the executive producer and one of the cast members of the independent series Hellier. Um, so far as uh, the Mothman Festival, um, what's your history with the festival? My wife and I, was, we were living in Canada at the time, and when we came down to the States, this was the first place we traveled, and it's just always been such a big part of our lives. We try and come out here at least once a year. And so to see a town that has embraced their folklore so much that they've literally built a statue and a festival around it is fascinating and awesome and I wish more towns around the world would do this. Why do you think that it's important for small towns to embrace their lore? I think it's important because folklore and ghost stories and monster stories, they're history. It's part of a place, and it's part of what makes up the spirit of a place. Our monsters are important, and our monsters have, have lessons embedded into them. And so I think it's, it's extremely important that, that towns embrace their folklore, embrace their monsters. Hi, my name is Jeanette Quackenbush and I do the West Virginia Monsters and Cryptids book. I also have two West Virginia ghost books. So what's your most recent book? Monsters, Cryptids, and Mysterious Beasts of West Virginia, Ohio. Did you write about the Mothman in that particular volume? Or? I did. I wrote it in a couple of the West Virginia books, but I also wrote it into the Monster book. And so it covers a lot of areas where people can go and visit and see where the Mothman was and also some of the other animals like the Sheep Squatch that are close wow. to Point Pleasant and, and close to probably where they live somewhere in West Virginia or Ohio. Do you have anything else to say about the festival? or? It's a really great festival. If you get a chance tomorrow, come out and see it. There is just about everything you could want. There's plushy stuffed animal mothmen. There are mothmen uh, books and posters and artists here. It's a great thing to come out and take a look at it if you get a chance. Well, this looks interesting over here. Let's check it out. <gasps> mothman doll. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. Look at it. Uh, I'm Seth Relove, uh, creator, director, film, filmmaker at large at Small Town Monsters. How many times have you been to the Mothman Festival? This is, I think, the fourth, the fourth time that we've been here. So. It seems like it's growing every year, which is pretty awesome to see. So how do you think that the Mothman and the Mothman's legacy has impacted Point Pleasant? Oh, I mean, it's interesting because like you come here and, and compare it to some of the other towns we've gone to recently, and I don't see another town that seems more aware of how to embrace their local monster story than, than Point Pleasant. Yeah, I think it, it's impacted the town in a way that I haven't seen a lot of other small towns, uh, simply because you had someone like Jeff Wamsley who knew how to embrace that, that legend and turn it into a huge tourism boon. Mothman uh, brought to Point Pleasant. So it's funny because people imagine that the Mothman is a harbinger of doom, right? And that he came and announced the disaster. But I, I've never really seen him that way because to me, the Mothman saved Point Pleasant. 
you know, Point Pleasant probably would not be the bustling place that it is when it comes to the, the festival or even having the museum. The, the monster itself it has become a boon to the economy here. So I think the lesson is uh, sometimes embracing things that scare you can result in really positive things. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I had at the 2019 Mothman Festival here in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. For WOUB, I'm Emily Votal. Oh my god!